teach you how to think correctly. The largest gap between successful and unsuccessful people in life is the thinking gap. I'm not talking about being smart. I'm not talking about an IQ. I'm talking about how you think, how I think. Successful people think differently than unsuccessful people. Wise thinking leads to right living. Stupid thinking lives, leads to wrong living. If you want to have a fulfilled life, you have to fill your mind correctly. Right now, you need to focus on today. And what I realized so many leaders don't understand is that truly today matters. And we overestimate what we can do tomorrow. We over-exaggerate what we did yesterday, but we underestimate what we can do right now. The only time you have, the only time I have, is now. So the question for all of us is, what am I doing with now? The great leaders, they're present in the moment, and because of that, they maximize the moment. So if you're tempted to take that far away glance, well, glance, but get right back to the present moment. Because today, you're preparing to make tomorrow a success. Well, we all want to be motivated, and yet, so many times we fail to find the secret of motivation, and so let me give it to you quickly. Just do it. Motivation is not the cause of action, it's the byproduct of action. There's a lot of difference. If I think motivation is the cause of my action, then I'm going to wait to be motivated before I do something. But if I realize it's the byproduct of my action, then I'll start doing something. And then guess what? Motivation will come up and zap you and all of a sudden you feel good and you're glad you're doing it. And you're saying, wow, this is truly wonderful. So let it be the byproduct of your life. Don't let it be the foundation for the actions that you take in your life. Nothing comes to you until you commit yourself. Nothing comes to you if you're just going to try, but you're not committed. Nothing comes to you if you're just thinking about it. It's not until you take the action step. It's not until you take the direction do the things start to flow through you. But I'm saying don't cheat yourself out of the possibility of the potential that's on the other side of commitment. Stay with it long enough to find out if there's any fruit in it. You can do goal setting with a pencil, but you have to do goal getting with your legs. You gotta take action. And it's the action that separates us. The greatest gap in this world is the gap between knowing and doing. Knowing is goal setting. Doing, now that's goal achievement. People that are knowledgeable about habits say that it takes 30 days for a habit to become a habit. Now, habits can be good and habits can be bad. And so over a period of time, you can either be developing habits that are going to help you or you can be developing habits that are going to hurt you. People that grow develop habits that help them. The great value of a good habit is you don't have to think about it. That's why it's a habit. In other words, once you begin to, over days and times and periods, begin to practice something that is good, after a while, it becomes automatic to you. It becomes who you are. In fact, I always tell, tell people, practice a good habit long enough to make it yours. And once it's yours, now it's automatic. Every day, you'll do what you should do. Often I have the expression that everything worthwhile is uphill. That's a fact. You've never heard someone talk about accidental achievements. You've never heard someone that got to the top of the mountain and somebody asked them, how did you get there? Kind of look confused and say, I have no idea. They know how they got there. The reason they know how they got there is because they had to walk all the way up the mountain. Nobody lifted dead. There were no shortcuts. There's not an elevator. There's not an escalator. It's all effort that gets you to the top of the mountain. What I want you to understand is that Inspiration does a lot better when it's coupled with perspiration. There are a whole lot of people, they want to be inspired in great things, but they don't want to do the hard work. 
to achieve those great things. It's not either or, it's both and. So I really trust today that you will just kind of roll up your sleeves, look at something you haven't tackled for a while, dive in. You'll be amazed that once after you do the work, you get inspired. Don't wait to get inspired before you do the work.